Good morning, everybody. It's, you know what time it is. It's Monday, so you know it's school girl sampler time. And uh, here are my blocks. Here are Cappy's blocks. And here's the book. And we're on page 61 blocks. 43 and 44. 43 is called Homeward Bound and Flocks flock of geese. We've had geese. We've had singular the goose. Now we have flocks of geese. So we're hitting all the geese evidently. So that's what they look like. They're fun and easy to make. We're going to get to that pretty soon, but I got so much to tell you. I'm a little tired today. Who knew fun could be so exhausting? I have sewn and played and crafted and eaten I tell you, when the dinner bell rings, you get up, you go. There's this amazing cook at the retreat. I'm talking about my retreat, remember? I went on a retreat and I'm so tired. But I'm ready to share with you some things I did. Remember I was talking about uh, my uh, Lisa Bonjean fabric that I was making. I was going to take and make my leader and ender potato chip blocks. Well... I didn't get a lot of them done, but I did get some. One, two, three, four of the blue with the red. One, two, so I got eight red with the blue. I got eight done. With as much playing around and talking and eating as I did, I'm surprised I even got one done. But that was fun. So, you know, all I do when I get ready for these potatoes, I just have them by my sewing machine just like that. And so each one of these is a little kit. You just pull them out, you lay them by your sew machine, and they're all ready to sew. You don't even have to think about it. I take this and put that aside, and then I start making my flying geese units, and then voila. That's really smart, Dawn. I mean, just having them in kits. Yeah, just having them in little rows here. And when I get done, there'll be 75 of them enough for a quilt. And won't that be exciting? That'll be very exciting. So anyway, there's that. And I thought I would share with you uh, all the sewing that I did. So here are the blocks. When I get the whole quilt done, I'll bring it in. I'm going on another retreat uh, the end of the month for the quilt guild, and I hope to get it done by then. But uh, this is some of the blocks. The colors are way out of my comfort zone. <laughs> But I see that. I'm having lots of fun doing them. This is going to be the summer and spring and summer quilt for my bed. That's beautiful, Dawn. Isn't that pretty? Are those your colors? Uh, no. Oh. But see how these stripes go out? That was kind of a fun color placement, fabric placement. Look at this one. That's beautiful. Yeah, look at all those points. Woo! That's beautiful. Papers? Uh, no, I did not use papers. Uh, did you use your triangle oh, square wait a minute. ruler? I did use papers. I used those cupcake papers. You know, those little yeah. squares, you put them on a yeah. five inch square. Yes, this pattern called for cupcake papers. So yes, I did use cupcake papers. I've forgotten about that. So all these Ooh. little half square triangles, isn't that nice? I love that. You, couldn't you see a whole quilt done in these colors, just the gray and the gold? That block's awesome. Yeah, very pretty. Love that block. So I had a fun time because each one was different. So it was like making a quilt each time I made a block. Because for me, some of these size blocks are quilts. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, how many, how many, if you break that down, how many four inch blocks are in there? Yeah, a lot. 16, there's yeah. 16. Just in this one. Yeah. Just in this one. Dawn, that's beautiful. Isn't that fun? Is this a, is this a pattern you're testing? It's good, no, this is a, a quilt uh, project that Moda had in 2018 called the Dessert Sampler. I love it. I love I all those blocks. Those All those blocks are just beautiful. Look at that. Just big half square triangles. That's really cool. Isn't that pretty? It sort of reminds me, because they're all different sizes, of the My Favorite Color is Moda Quilt. Oh, so all the blocks are different sizes? All the blocks are different okay. sizes. So here are the 12 and a half inch blocks. Mm. Now, I'll tell you, I spent most of my time doing these big ones. 
And then these 12 and a half went like, went like that. It's crazy. I oh, love I that. love that. Isn't that fun? Now we strip pieced this. So I had a strip of this color and a strip of this color. And then I took one of those wedge rulers and I just, I, I sewed the two strips together and then I just alternated it back and forth. So I got a long one with a skinny point, and a white point and a long white with a skinny colored point. And that's how I made these blocks. And then this is the only one where, and the pattern says this, this is the only one where they're all the same fabric and all the other ones you just uh, change up. Isn't that fun? That's so, really what makes the pattern yeah, being yeah. that center block all the same colors. Yeah. Because then your eye starts kind of making yeah, all kinds twinkle, of different. Twinkle, twinkle, little yeah. star. Nice log cabin. And isn't it fun that these two fabrics alternate in Where the log cabin? They do what? These two fabrics alternate. Oh, that's neat. Yeah, usually, you know, you see them all one fabric. Uh huh. But yeah, I think that's pretty fun. I don't know if she still And then just here's a. Half square triangles. Here's some big flying geese with some half square triangles. Now, I really enjoyed this one. I thought this was pretty. <clears throat> kind of a spinning wheel. <clears throat> Again, we this book, this book, it, we no longer have this book. We no longer have this fabric. It was from 2018. Uh, and I'm just now getting around to do one for me. So. Isn't it nice to quote for yourself? Yes, it was fun. It was oh, very much that's, fun. Oh, that's that's stunning. Isn't okay, that I could totally do a whole quilt out of that dawn because yeah. that is so southwestern, yeah. and I would use southwestern Yay! colors. Hey, that kind of does look southwestern. Man. Yeah. I'll be taking a picture of that later. Okay. Oh, I love that. Yeah. Same kind of thing. Man, so that's cool. They're turned a different way. They're all turned in. Square so, yeah. with half square triangles all the way around yeah. it with two squares in the, or, and squares in the corners. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I got the Pretty pattern easy. memorized. You got it memorized. Yeah. So anyway, I thought I'd come and share that with you. And when I get back from my retreat at the end of the month, I hope to have that all done. Well, Sharon is Karen. I know. And then I wanted to remind you of my little travel case. How did it perform for you? Yeah, it was great. Did yeah. Take it? Was everybody jelly? Well, we did this craft. We did one craft a day. We made scissor fobs. We made these heart plaques that we glued uh, wooden spools to. I'll bring it all. It's all packed. I didn't get unpacked. I just got home. Uh, late last night, so uh, it's not all unpacked. But I'll bring all the stuff we made. We made a scissor fob, we made pin cushions, we made these heart plaques, we made little heart collages out of it. We cut up an old quilt. Wow. I know, but it was it was a cut up one. Yeah. You know? It was kind of worn and, and lots of places. So we cut up that. We, uh, oh, we just did so many crafts. It was just so much fun. Yeah, how do you breathe them behind and, me? You know, a lot of times we get so caught up in the sewing that we do, just don't let loose and craft. And cra it was just so much fun for everybody. Everybody there enjoyed it. So one of the crafts, we definitely, uh, we had to cut one inch squares. And so people were using my one inch ruler. You have a Creative Grids one inch ruler. Yeah. And uh, then my... Uh, my little mat, my little I see you got it cutter. back. I did get it back. You better believe I got it back, buddy. So, so that was fun. And uh, everybody, remember I made collapsible trash cans for everybody? Oh, I got so many prizes, presents back in return. So I'll try to remember to bring those in one time. So, so. we'll have a present <laughs> reveal. Yeah, we'll have a present reveal. And then <clears throat> what was waiting for me in the mail when I got home? I got a new yellow t-shirt. Isn't it beautiful? Ooh, that's beautiful. Isn't it pretty? And it's the and it's a really good brand. I Those are nice because they're they have a nice weight on. Okay. They hold up real well. Well, if I had gotten it washed before I before today I would have worn it, but look at that! That is actually my Miss Chloe with green paint all over her face. She was helping me paint one day. And she has green paint all over her face. I love it. Isn't that the cutest? That's it awesome. Says, I 
love and it's got chloe's name on it love oh and dog mom life that's i guess that's where i got it from i don't know i was just saw it on the internet and i had to get, have one because it's so darn cute lisa yes yeah. come here and look at this shirt i got she has a dog did you all post dog pictures on dog day it was just like a couple days ago i did look it's an actual picture of chloe you could put an actual picture of Princess That's on a cute. shirt. Isn't that so that cute? cute? That's where you got it. That's what I'm lying. I maybe I don't know. I'll, I'll hook you up. Yeah. I'll hook you I'm up. Isn't that cute? <laughs> Just so cute. Down. Pam's looking too because she's got a puppy too. We all have to look. All the puppy lovers in all the towns and all the world have to come look at my Chloe picture. Uh, Chloe. And if you don't have a dog and you have a cat, you could just do. You could cat. do a cat too. Except it'd be kind of weird to say dog mom life with a cat on there. Cat mom life. Cat mom. I don't know. They might even have that. Who knows? Who knows? But anyway, I loved that. That was waiting for me in the mail. I might wear that next week. Get it in the laundry and get it uh, ready to wear. But I was perusing through the Facebook. And, you know, I follow uh, Kathy, uh, Kathleen Tracy, who is the author of this book. She has uh, several books out. And I follow her on Facebook, and she has a pro a private Facebook group just for girl school, school girl sampler. And so, I went on and I asked to join. And this is one of the layouts that Kathleen did for the school girl sampler. But you notice that she used the same block. She did it one, two, three, four, five, six times and made a row quilt. Oh. And all the backgrounds are different. And I thought, oh my goodness, I really like that. She set them on point. And I really like that. So when I came in today, I went to the, um, the uh, solids wall and I found this muslin. And it is, I mean, it's still got the seeds in it. Can they see? It's a natural muslin. And I love the way it's the same color as the dots in that Peter fabric there. And so I thought, I wonder how that would look with those set on point like that. And I just think I really like that. And I'm not going to do them all the same. I'm just going to do take the blocks that I found. And uh, can I just tell you, um, working in the shop and cutting fabrics, the Moda muslins are, oh, let me put you in the frame there. The Moda muslins are supreme. Yeah, oh. yeah, and this is a natural. They have it down to a science. And I, yeah, and I zoomed in close where yeah. you can see that nice characteristic. Yeah. Of, but while you were talking about it, I was feeling it, and it the hand on it is it just really wonderful. Nice. It is a nice And it gets softer. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Love so that. I think that's how I'm going to set this quilt. And then you just put an alternate color. And they used black. I don't know what I'll use. I might use a dark blue or a dark gray. Ooh, a dark gray would be pretty, wouldn't it? Maybe a gray grunge. Something like that. Like that but dark I, gray that's in the center there? Yeah, that, that like block something there. like that. Yeah, something like that. But I think uh, we need to start looking for how we're going to set these because we're on blocks 43 and 44. Mine are set already. Are they really? Yeah. Set in a box? Yeah. <laughs> How did I know you were going to say that? I don't know. But anyway, I thought that was really pretty. And so it's a good idea to audition your blocks on what fabrics you think are going to uh, go with the quilt. So I was just auditioning those. And I'd like for you to put in the comments, yay or nay, what do you think? If you like that or if you don't. But uh, I think that's going to be pretty. And, you know, when you put blocks on point, it makes your quilt bigger with fewer blocks. Because the for some reason, you know, the, the quilt block, instead of being a four and a half inch block, because you're going to put points out here, this block is six inches, a little over six, six and a half inches across. So that's going to be six inches across. So that's going to be, you know, a good size block. And so a four inch block becomes a six inch block just by putting those corners on it and making it go on point. So you get more bang for your buck. Mm. Yay. So 
thought I'd do that. And uh, let's see, I thought about you guys a lot. I really did. When I was making my potato chip blocks, I was thinking about you. And uh, just uh, finding that website, that Facebook. And I don't know if Peter will be able to put a link to it because it's a private Facebook, but if he can, he will. But when you go there, you have to answer a question. And uh, then you type that in and then you send it and then they approve you. And it's really fun because you get all kinds of inspiration on how to set different blocks. So that's kind of fun. So let's go over to the... But before we do... Oh, before we do what? Before we do, how was yes. your antique game? Oh my gosh. Okay. Six Goodwills, three antique malls. Fabulous. I got myself a little bitty red chair that is so adorable. I got a bunch of uh, galvanized, uh, not galvanized, enamelware. A bunch of enamelware. I got a bunch of uh, embroidered like scarves and pillowcases. Uh. And I got this really beautiful piece of crocheted work that I'm going to use to put on the top of a stocking. Oh, it's, oh I can't wait to see yeah, it. Yeah, so pretty. So, one week I'll bring in all the gifts that we got. One okay. week I'll bring in all the crafts that we did. And then one week I'll bring in all the... Uh, all the shopping. It'll be Don's Antique yeah, Road Show. Yeah, it'll be my road show. How about that? That'll be fun. That'll be very fun. It'll be fun for me to see it all together, too, because, you know, it's just all been packed in my car. So, yeah, as I unpack, I'll kind of put things in categories. So, that'll be fun. Let's go over to the sewing machine. Let's start with block number 43, which is the Homeward Bound. And it's pretty simple. You can see that it's just two squares with two half square triangles you know it just takes two different colors how yummy is that green yeah yeah uh. yeah it just takes two fabrics and she tells you to cut it in a seven eighth inch increment but go ahead and bump that on up to the whole increment the larger whole increment and all we're going to do is uh find the center by uh either drawing a line from diagonal to diagonal, point to point, sewing a quarter inch on one side and sewing a quarter inch on the other. Now, again, I don't have to uh, draw the line because I've got my tape and everybody at the retreat loved doing uh, working with the tape. Everybody at our table anyway. We got to sew with Lenine and uh, Kathy. Uh, Cappy did a lot of different projects. That was pretty exciting. Everybody loved, she made a purse and everybody fell in love with the purse that she made. And then, um, oh, she made a wallet. She was just cooking. She was going to town. And then Lenine, I have no idea what no, Lenine did. She cross-stitched some. She piddled with fabric. I, honest to Pete, I have no idea what she did. She was sitting like there was me and then Tammy across from me and then next to me was Cappy and then next to uh, Tammy was Lenine. Now, Tammy and Lenine did not need or use the blue tape method, but you better believe Cappy and I did use it and Cappy creeped over into my space several times. I just want you to know, I think I crept over into her, her thing maybe nine times, but I'm sure Wait, she crept over you, into Wait, how mine. did you end up in her space? Well, we had this blue tape, and our things would gravitate over. Most of the time, it was my... Um, I thought the blue tape was to keep people out of your domain. Yeah, that's what it was and for. And you ended up in her domain? I did. It was oh. terrible. I know. I got, I got called out for it. I just want you to know. So, anyway, I'm going to cut those in half after I've drawn, after I've sewn the two lines. And I'm going to uh, size them. Now, what size do they have to be? Well, the book tells you, and... They've got to sew in with this, and so there you go. You that visitor. has to be. So we, should we talk about the blue tape? Uh, <laughs> we even had to put it on the floor and everything. Was you had to that. put it on the floor? Well, well you know, there was there floor was, space. It went all the way down. And then, so then, she I had to put right the blue now. tape between me and Lenine. 
Oh yeah, yeah. this way. Oh, yeah, you did? Because they were like coming over this way. Now, Tim and I did not have that problem because Tim and I have sewn together for so long right. that we we know to stay in our spaces. But yeah, between her and Lenny, Lenny would go, you're in my space. And Kathy would go, you're in my space. And so I said, let's get the blue tape out. Yeah, did you have to, to sit these two together on a couch to oh, hold hands? Oh my goodness, Almost. it was Almost. terrible. But here's, the, here's the rest of the story she's not telling you. Not only did Lenny and I have the space, the same space she and Tammy did, but we had a whole nother table at the end that Lenny and I shared that we still couldn't stay out of her space. So we, 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 we had fun. We had fun. We giggled and laughed. But, we did. But we did have a blue tape. And I hear you made a bag and everybody loved it. They did. And I yeah. think I saw that bag. Did the bag come in this morning with you or no? No, uh -uh. no, no it's, it's a different home. bag. It's at home. Okay. It. You got the pink hardware. bag today. I have the pink bag today. But I'm waiting on some yeah. hardware. But yeah, it was it was a great, it was a great weekend. Yeah. So we had fun. But the blue tape is... I think now a must have for every return. A must have, yes. Yeah. 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 If you if you like boundaries, the blue tape. <laughs> I think I'm going to get a roll of that painter's tape and take it home and put it on the bed. Yeah. Oh. Oh my goodness. Well, <laughs> that was more information than we needed. Okay, so I'm just cutting keep, off. Keep Kathy on her side. Oh yeah. I'm gonna, <laughs> she'd say she say she, it's keeping me on my side, but you know. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and square those up. You know, I'm using my favorite ruler. Squaring those up and then cutting those little triangles on the edges off. And then when I open those up with my clapper, and I took all my clappers and I left my big one up at the uh, ironing station. So I have a couple new uh, clapper com converts, converts over to the clapper. And uh, that was kind of fun. Did they feel spoiled being able to use one for the first time? Well, one girl said, where's this been all my life? You know, I, and well, just like we did. I think when that's we the same first, thing I yeah, said. I think too, that's like, what we said. A year and a half ago, I think yeah. I said that. I was yeah. like, oh my gosh. Exactly, exactly. So anyway, that that's the entire block right there. I mean, that's it. You're going to sew those together. Those colors are so yummy. Isn't that pretty together? Now, what could we do this? Well, yes, we could if we wanted to. I think I'm going to put the darts to the inside, though. Okay, so I'm just going to sew these together in the two rows. Um, I'm working on catching my blocks up, Dawn. Last week I sewed three or four of them. Really? Uh-huh, because I told you I was going to work on catching up. Uh -huh. So I found my book finally. Good, where was it? <laughs> on the dining room table. Or, I'm sorry, the table that's in the kitchen. Okay. So you know it's a catch-all, Dawn. You okay. know it's a catch-all. Hey, so it, the, it was buried at the at bottom of the house. pile. Yeah, any surface at my house is a catch-all. Oh, but I had so much fun. Good. The worst fun, though, was trying to figure out what block I left off on, because all my blocks uh, I left at work. So oh, I'm like, yeah. so I'm like you didn't okay, know where to start. I'm like, where am I at? Where am I at? Where am I at? So I just guessed. You did? Yeah. I would have gone to the back and worked forward. And that way you would have probably but, not... But I wouldn't want to know. I wouldn't want to make the block without seeing you make them first, though. Oh, okay. All right. Well, because I have in my memory every one that we made so far. Oh, okay. From watching you, so yeah. yeah. Okay. So anyway, I've I've sewed these rows together, and you know I always just put them back where I found them. Now let's go over to this next block, and it's a com it's a block that's comprised of eight little half square triangles and two half square triangles just like the ones we just made so i took these two fabrics i'm going to do it with gray I'm, this is going to be stunning i'm going to do it in that gray um i wonder if we still have some of that on the bolt let me go out and get that uh if we do because that's maybe what i put between my blocks that or a solid i gray, love the whole color. dark light of that block yeah. the one half is dark and one half is light yeah. love that that would be beautiful as an entire quilt to that block yeah so here it is i'm gonna um open these up i'm gonna press them the food was fantastic at this retreat did you get new shoes uh no those are oh. some old ones i just dug out of my closet uh the food was fantastic the little lady who uh was the cook there oh my goodness i wanted to bring her home with me so bad and they have this dinner bell so you know the dinner bell would ring for uh lunch now it didn't ring for breakfast because breakfast was self-serve and the first day i thought lenine was going to have a heart attack because she couldn't find the self-serve breakfast it was like in a 
in a refrigerator that was below the salad bar. And, um, and I think Lenine is really big on breakfast because she was like, where's the breakfast? Where's the breakfast? And she finally found it. And so then we were all phew, saved by the breakfast bell. But anyway, there is no bell at breakfast. You just help yourself whenever you get up, you know, mosey in, eat your breakfast, whatever. I'm not a breakfast person. Guess what? I took my pens to the retreat. Oh, and? Are they packed? And they are packed, but I, I do have some extras right now. You have some on reserve? I have some reserve. Some on standby. Yeah, yeah. So, anyway, um, so when the lunch bell would ring, 11.30, 12 o'clock, you You're know. You're making me hungry. My stomach's growling. Oh, my goodness. The food they fed us. We had a big salad bar every day, and so if you didn't like what they were fixing, you know, we had some potato soup that was to die for, some good roasted uh, red pepper tomato soup. Oh my goodness, that was yummy. Uh, and then before you know it, the dinner bell would ring and you'd have to go back and eat again because you didn't want to hurt the lady's feelings, obviously. I usually only eat once a day, but I'm not gonna hurt that lady's feelings. You know, I had to eat twice a day. I mean, you know. That was the rule, and uh, you know how I am about rules. So we all wanted to take the dinner bell and the little lady home with us. Kathy, do you remember that lady's name? The little lady who cooks really good. Yeah, that's her name, all right. Um, she was fantastic. She just, and she just made everything, she just took everything up a notch with a, a dressing or a glaze. Oh. I mean, she just was fantastic. Oh yeah, Sounds you, would, you would have liked her, Peter. You and Man. her would. You wouldn't have had any. Time. You wouldn't have been sewing. You would have been in that. I would have stayed a there. Kitchen. I wouldn't have came home. Yeah, it was I a commercial have, kitchen. Her and I would just be cooking together right. for the rest of our lives. Exactly, exactly. It was super nice, a uh, commercial kitchen. And this was we had uh, the retreat was at the gathering in Larson. Wisconsin. That place looks legit. Can it, I just say? It is the best retreat center. And I've been on a lot of retreats. And actually, it has spoiled me for the rest of the retreats I'm ever going to go on. Because there's now, nothing. So now you don't want to go on any other retreats except for the gonna, gathering retreat. Yeah. It's not, nothing's going to top it. Because well, I'm going to have to go one of these years. Yeah. It's, You're going to have to pack me in your suitcase. It's right beside Lisa Bonjean's um, retail store. Um, primitive gatherings and uh, just top-notch top-notch all the way um, when we got there we were greeted by Judy uh, she's kind of the house manager and she greeted us and it was she gave us our keys and to our bedroom and helped us in with our stuff and um, just just so, so good and uh, so friendly. Of course, you know, Wisconsin is the state of the cheese heads. And uh, there was lots of cheese jokes and cheese stuff going on. They had wine and cheese one night. Well, I'm not a wine person, but I helped myself to some cheese, of course, uh, <clears throat> with my diet, Dr. Pepper. And... Uh, the crafting, I think, was my favorite. I mean, I, I do love uh, to sew. And when I go to retreats, I'm pretty passionate about, you know, sewing, sewing, putting the pedal to the metal and getting a lot done. But this time I just relaxed. I only got, I think, 15 blocks done. You know, there's 57 blocks in this quilt. And I only got like 15 of them done. But, you know, it wasn't bothering me. I was crafting. I was with my friends. I was having so much fun. Okay, so I made these two half square triangles just like I made those two half square triangles. And um, so they're going to go like this. And now it's time to make these little baby ones. And there's eight of them. And so <clears throat> I got out my fangles because there was eight of them. They're both, the, oh, they're all the same. So I got out my strip of thangles and I'd already had this gray strip cut. And so I just used it even though it was bigger than what I needed. And then I cut this uh, Peter fabric. Uh, and I always make sure when I cut for my thangles that I cut a quarter of an inch bigger than the actual thangle so that I have uh, 
fabric on both sides that if this sh paper should shift, then uh, there's some shifting room, some insurance as you would. And so all you do is sew on the dotted lines. You can see I haven't sewn this one yet because I'm gonna sew it with you. But you sew on the dotted lines. And if you have a whole bunch of them, let's say I needed 40 or 50 or 60 or whatever of these, I would just chain piece them. And the first thing I do is I come here and I change my stitch length. And you can go to 180, 160, 150, uh, 1.5 I mean. I'm at 1.5 and that's a little bitty one. And you never ever want to uh, have to rip out a 1.5 inch seam. So I'm just going to turn that around. My foot down, raise up my needle. Kind of get it arranged in there so I can see where I'm at. It's nice to have a foot that's open so you can see where you're sewing because you want to sew right on those dotted lines. And uh, <clears throat> after you, I always like to turn it over, make sure I haven't missed any because it's a not good so easy to that's see. A good tip. Yeah, that's you know, that's I don't a great know where tip. these strings came from. That's worth the price of admission. Yeah, right there, that is. You're right. So then I uh, go get my ruler. Most of my rulers are packed. I haven't unpacked them. Had, I had to go out to the van just to get my uh, clapper and my wool mat and iron and you know, it just is crazy when you go on a trip. I need a bigger cutting surface. You know what? I'll just do this. Okay. Now I'm gonna lay my ruler right along the edge of the paper. Can you see that? I can't really see any paper. I don't wanna be able to see paper because I don't wanna cut paper. But then I always go over here to this side and make sure that that's lined up with whatever width it's supposed to be. move this up because I don't have the surface isn't big enough to cut a thangle and my other cutting mat I'd have to I'm being lazy I'd have to get up and go to the other cutting mat I'm going to do the same thing on the other side so I am always now the thangle paper people the thangle the instructions say to cut your strip the exact width of the thangle don't do it don't do it Ethel I'm telling you don't, don't do it don't do it people don't do it because you'll be sorry if it should shift and it'll shift I and guess. it will shift uh because your feed dogs you know are aggressive and um then you won't have perfectly good half square triangles so this ensures me but i i tell people to do this and then they forget to cut it off and then they just cut their and then their triangles are too big you see and then they get mad at me because oh well don't that didn't work because my triangles are too big well you've got to cut that off before you start cutting these apart okay so and if you'll notice, uh, let me get this off. If you'll notice, there is a black line and then a smidgen of a white line and then another black line. You want to try and cut on that light line. So, you cut on all the straight lines. The dotted lines you sew on the straight lines you cut on. And this is going to, on this little size, this is going to give you an eighth of an inch seam allowance. They don't all do that. I think this is the, well, no, maybe some of the even, I you can buy them half inch finished. Uh, maybe those sizes give you an eighth of an inch seam allowance also. But this will automatically give you an eighth of an inch seam allowance, which is, you know, a little bit uh, small. You're not uh, used to working with an eighth of an inch seam allowance, but we're still going to press that open.
Now I'm going to just open, I mean, press them, I mean, cut them, blah, 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 blah. Cut them on the diagonal, and you can see I only have an eighth of an inch seam allowance there. No problem, no big deal. And we need eight of these. Had I just needed two, would I be doing this? No. But I needed eight. So I thought I'd get out my trusty thangle. And um, I have them in every size, but I mostly use the one inch because I love the one inch. I have been known to use the half inch and the three quarter inch, but uh, the one inch is my favorite. Now I will tell you that uh, people were bringing me their trash. Yeah, I came home with a what? Uh huh. I came home with a home goods bag, you know, one of those giant shopping bags from the home goods that's about that wide and about that tall, full of nothing but people's trash. One inch or bigger pieces. They call trash over but there. But that's your treasure. Over there. I'm telling you what, I cherish that more than anything I bought. <laughs> okay, so let me get this right. You got a huge home goods bag it filled is, with one or larger scrap. It is this big. I'll bring it so you can see it. I want to see the fabrics that are yeah, in it. It is this big by that big. People with at the, the retreat, did they sew out of their stash out of like older fabrics or did they use current fabrics or both or what? What's going both, on? Both, oh, both. Oh, I can't wait. Current fabrics though. I can't wait. Yeah. I yeah. can't wait, Dawn. Yeah, there might be some fabrics in That's there. That's a whole other video, Dawn. Yeah, there might be some fabrics I might not be allowed to show. Oh, okay. But, okay. Uh, but yeah, on the whole, oh, you man. know, yeah. Yeah, the, people were giving me their trash. Wasn't that fun? Don't you think that's fun? I think that's fun. So I told him next year I'm not going to come with any fabric. <laughs> I'm just going to sew with the fabric I get when I get there. Because they are just not frugal with their fabric at all. <laughs> Because there's going to be more. They know, know there's going to, they, they know there's going to be more well, later. Well, they're designers and they make their own, I mean, you know, they design yeah. their own yeah. fabrics. So they're in the mood of, of not being frugal. So I reaped the benefits of that. And boy, was that exciting. That was really exciting. Now, because I lowered my stitch length, look at how easy it is to pull these papers. And all I do is put my thumb right in the middle and just pull up. And look, that just, I mean, it just comes off like butter. Like butter. Butter, butter, butter. Oh, they have butter at every table. Oh, I love butter. Dish of butter. Oh, Wisconsin I mean, butter. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh baby. Wisconsin it was so butter good. is so one creamy. Night, one night we had uh, grilled chicken that they had grilled outside. On and the, butter. Uh, on a hickory wood stove. Oh, oh man. Oh. And corn on the cob with a, uh, with a Parmesan crusted cheese rub oh, oh oh so could you say so one good. could go there just for the culinary experience oh definitely and oh just, totally you know oh totally yeah and just hang out yeah yeah but you want to take your sewing or whatever you want to be doing this did cappy a, do any hand stitching i can't remember if she i don't think she did but she, well we tried to get her to do some cross stitch but she wouldn't hear of it she just doesn't have a cross stitch confidence. She needs to get some confidence and she's doing good. I mean, she, she showed me her project that she was doing. She's not doing uh, too bad on it. She's actually doing pretty darn good on it. It's with perforated paper. And so the holes are easy to see, but uh, she doesn't know whether to go in a straight line or do all the same color. You know, she's just having some beginner issues. And we tried to all give her our opinion, of course, because that's what we're good at. And now see how that quarter, uh, that eighth inch seam allowance is no big deal to open up. I mean, I just lay it. because you like, got that fabulous tool. Just like I do any other one. I open it up. I kind of open it with my finger. And then I just come along here with my iron. Now, it does help to have a nice point on your iron, I think. I love this little old. Alisso yep, iron. Alisso. Alisso iron. I never know how to say that. Oh, like so Dawn, really I took a page out of your book. Yeah. <sighs> I finally got over the my anxiety of not cranking my iron up. <laughs> what do you mean cranking it up? Meaning putting it on a hotter setting. Oh. Oh my gosh. 
I just touch it to the square and it just presses right open. Hello, that's what it's for. <laughs> it's called an iron for a reason. Well, I was using a lower temperature. Why would you do that? I and don't I've told know. you a hundred times. I don't know. Just being the rebel that you are, Peter. I don't know. Peter the rebel. But it made a difference over this uh, past week. Let me tell you what. My seams just pressed right open and everything laid so much flatter. Aww. Now, um, one thing I did get to do is meet uh, Lisa Bonjean's new puppy. She got a new puppy. <gasps> Jeter died uh, a year ago. Uh, well, it's been over a year now. Pit bull. Jeter was a pit bull. But I tell you, the sweetest, most kindest uh gentlest dog really uh, for a big dog i'm scared of big dogs and jeter was just so sweet well they got another pit bull and this one is full grown it's about a year and a half old and it's full grown and it's little it's real tiny wow. i didn't know they had little bitty pit bulls but this one's just adorable and of course a puppy is all over everything you know and uh, having just the time of its life, it's in uh, obedience school because evidently it jumped out of the window while they were driving not too long ago. They were only going five miles an hour, so it didn't get hurt. But anyway, so adorable. So much fun to see the new puppy and get to love on him. So the puppy, uh, what color? Kind of a gray-brown oh. pit bull color. Oh, I bet she's so Do pit bulls sweet. come in different colors? Oh, yeah. Do they really? Brindle, gray, black, well, brown. Well, this is kind of a grayish brown. Uh, blue. Yeah. White. Yeah. There's white pit bulls. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. No, I didn't know that. Okay, so I'm going to do this. I'm going to just lay them out here. Let me move that one over and bring this one over. I just love those greens. Yeah. And, I, and I'm just amazed at the combination of how this shade of green looks good against this shade of blue green there mm -hmm. there's just something really cool about that combination mm -hmm. you put together well they are on the same side of the Man, uh, color wheel so and so there's that one that's the uh homeward bound there's that pretty gold i love how that with the red out. dots mm -hmm. So now I'm going to lay these out, and you can refer to your book to see how the layout is. The layout's the same, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to stack two on top of each other because I'm going to make two blocks exactly the same. Oh, darn. you got to wake up now. Okay, I'm going to do it just like that. So go like that, go like that. Dark to the top right. Yeah, that's why it says, but if you do it the other way, as long as you're consistent in the way you do it, it's not going to matter. Okay, so then I'm just going to sew these together. And if I get them out of order, it's not going to matter because they're all going to, the twosomes are all going to be the same. So I'm just going to, what I call chain piece. Let me get this out of my way. Okay, so Cappy and I had this contest. Who brought what? Because, you know, she had a van, a car load full of stuff, and I had a van load full of stuff. So what does she do? She pulls out a hammer. Did I bring a hammer? No, I did not bring a hammer. She brought a hammer. Well, she was making a person. She had to beat it into submission, so she had to have a hammer. Uh, but there were things I brought that she didn't bring. So, together, we were the whole ensemble. I mean, you know, we had everything. I took every single one of my rulers, and I own a bunch. So, people were borrowing rulers, which was fun. I, that's what I took them for. But they always returned them, just saying. And, um, of course, I took two of everything because Tammy flew in from uh, Dallas, and so she didn't bring anything with her. I had two of everything, two sew machines, two cutting mats, two of everything, two irons, two of everything. And so um, it was fun for Cappy and I to uh, kind of collaborate and see who brought what and who didn't bring what. And of course, we, brought, we both brought blue tape. So we, we had the blue tape. 
no problem there. I'm going to go ahead and open these seams. I've sewed these together in pairs. And um, the papers made them turn out so perfect. I don't even have to worry about whether they're not the right size or that they're skewed in any way because that uh, fangal paper is the bee's knees. And um, one girl there, um, the, um, one of the Martingale girls, Martingale is a book company. Uh, so it was a Moda Martingale um, retreat. And she came and she had these applique baskets, maybe like 200 of them. I don't really know how many, but it was a, a bunch. And um, she was putting those together and they were four and a half inch squares with this applique uh, basket on them. They were so beautiful. Civil War fabrics, my favorite. But she uh, put them all together and then um, she sent it over to the Primitive Gatherings, which they have a long arm service. They quilted it while she was there. <laughs> and she put the binding on it. Oh my goodness. She left with a completely finished oh, man. quilt. She was in hog now, heaven. Now she is smart, that cookie. She was in hog heaven. She was so excited. That's a smart cookie uh -huh. right there. Yep, yep. And so uh, that was fun to see come together. Another lady was doing a quilt of all big, gigantic smiley faces, like 18 inch blocks, big yellow smiley faces. And I got all her scraps. That was fun, all that yellow and black. That was real, lots of fun. And um, that was what was going on then. A couple of people were doing Christmas things. Uh, some people were working on their letters to Santa, which we were supposed to have out uh, by today, but because I went away, we're not going to do it until Friday. Uh, if you haven't been to the Moda blog, Moda blog, just Google it and it'll take you there, to see what's going on with letters to Santa, uh, the Moda girls did this cute, well, it was Michelle, uh, did this cute table runner. The word was pie, and she made it in pumpkin pie colors. Aww. And uh, then uh, it, it was really cute. Go over there and see see what it's like. Uh, we'll have our word pie done up by Friday. Did she have to mince her, her words? Mm, she did not mince her words. That would have been mince meat if she would have minced her words. Mince meat pie. Which a lot of people don't even know what minced meat pie is. Isn't it just crushed up uh, raisins or something like that? I don't know. I'm, I'm not sure I'm what's not, in a I don't minced know. meat pie. There's got to be meat in there, or at one time there was meat. Yeah. But uh, that'd be something for you to look Maybe just take up here. take your leftover meat and. I don't know. You need to you need to Google that. Shepherd's or, pie. Shepherd's, is it I shepherd's love, pie? No. I love a good shepherd's pie love, though. No, mince meat pie is a sweet pie. Oh, it is. Yeah. Oh. It's got raisins in it. So is, is it like a faux pie? No. There's no meat in it. Google it and report back, <laughs> would you please? Oh man. You no, know, I think at one time. I can't was Google it. it. I'm filming a video, I Dawn. Know. I said by next by Friday. <laughs> Google it by Friday, and then when we start. Talking about the pie table runner, you can fill us in on what minced meat pie minced is. meat pie is. Mm -hmm. It's a southern thing, a Pennsylvania, uh, around Pennsylvania, and the Amish people and the Mennonite people. Uh, it's a real big deal. Minced meat pie. Well, I, I'll ask my people to get back to your people then. Okay, please do that. Lenine has people, you know. She. She's not in yet today. She's probably still asleep. She's recuperating. She's recuperating. It was exhausting to have that much fun. And then, of course, the worst part of the whole retreat is the going home. You know, backing up. Having to put everything Having back in. Yeah. Yeah. That's the worst part. I would have been like, okay, Tammy, I brought it. You pack it. <laughs> 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 of course, then... Yeah, that would be interesting. Then I wouldn't be able to find anything. You know what a control freak I am. That's not going to happen. 
Well, these go upward. These go like this in the book. So now I'm going to lay this out like the book says. See the darks go to the top here. Oh, that is Isn't nice. That yummy? I, I love, love it in gray. those dark colors. Yeah, I love that gray. Really sets it off. That that color combination Good is really contrast, nice. Contrast, you know. Last week we talked about temperature. We could talk about contrast. Contrast. Contrast is how light or how dark the fabric is next to each other. You know, you can put one fabric next to another fabric and the first fabric could be dark, but then you put it next to a darker fabric and it becomes the lighter fabric. So it's all relative to what you put next to it. So that's contrast. Contrast is how light and how dark and how far apart they are on the grayscale. Every uh, value has a number assigned to it by the number assigning people. Okay, this one goes here. See, I'm, I'm looking at my bottom thing. She's looking at her diagram. Looking folks. at my diagram. Gotta look at the diagram. Referring to the diagram. Um, so I'm gonna sew that together. So essentially, once I get my parts made, this just becomes a four patch. And I forgot to clear my machine, so I'm still in 1.5 uh, stitch length. So probably want to do that. And I'm gonna get me a beginner and an ender to get this out of the sew machine so that I can uh, go ahead and press that and sew those two together. Eight potato chip blocks, Peter. Out of those 15 blocks that I made, I got eight. Uh, potato chip blocks. I need, to start, I need to start making those. I'm stuck on the those little small nine you patches like that nine, I'm working with. Yes. But I, you know, I see the value in that because if you you got bigger scraps, and, you know, you want to make a bigger block. Yeah. In Lisa's new book, I forget what it's called. I'll find out for you. In Lisa's new book, she's made a quilt with all those uh, nine patches, and I'll oh. have to show it to you. It's very, very oh. pretty. It's very pretty. You'll like it a lot. And um, are you doing all dark ones or are you doing I some went, of each? I went um, dark. So I have on my top row, I have dark, light, dark on the top row. Okay. Dark, light, dark is uh -huh. a dark one. Yep. So I'm anytime you have five darks, so uh -huh. there'll be a dark in the middle and dark, yes. light, dark. Anytime you have five darks, it's a dark block. And anytime you have five light blocks, it's a light block. We're talking about a nine patch that's made with one inch squares. And they are a delight to make yes, because they're they just are. beginners and enders. So you end up with a whole nother quilt and you didn't even have to sew the quilt. Well, right. you have to sew the blocks together, but there'll be beginners and enders at some point in another project. Correct, correct. And it just kind of, it evolved because yeah. as you're going from project to project to project, you're still working on this project. You know what, Don? It's almost like a memory project because you have the actions and the emotion tied in from your other quilt projects yeah. while you were making this um, as your beginners and enders. So it's almost like a memory quilt in itself. So you must get attached to your fabric like I get attached to mine. Oh, I do. I do because it's seasonal too, right? right? What did it look like outside? Was it warm? Was it cold? Was it winter when I was sewing that? Was it summer when I was sewing it? So, Or if you were sewing with a friend, like at the retreat. See, I'll remember because I yeah. made this quilt at that retreat. You'll I'll have be, that. I'll, ha I'll associate those memories. All that food you ate. And all that food I ate. <laughs> yeah, maybe I ought to make that quilt a little bigger so that I can <laughs> cover up with it. But anyway. Um, you'll, you'll melt. Yeah. You'll melt back down. So anyway, I um, I always, always have been that way. Like if somebody gives me something, I can't, I, I mean, I have to keep it for my whole life. I can't like re-gift it or throw it away. I can't do anything like that. If somebody gives me something that's non-perishable, I mean, if you gave me a candy bar, I'm gonna eat it, of course. Mm -hmm. But if you gave me a candle, you know? You gonna burn it? Uh, I might burn just for a few, just to burn the wick, because it's, yeah. it's bad luck to have a candle in your house if the wick hasn't been burnt. 
Um, so yeah, I might do that, but I, I wouldn't probably burn it up. Mm. Yeah. Cause I, I'm just like that. I just have memories attached to my things. I was, you know, I was trying to plan what I was going to sew last week and I have one quilt and I have two blocks left and it's finished mm -hmm. and it's been that way for the last nine months. Yeah. I have a winter quilt. That's a mo All these are moto quilts, by the way. And then one's a winter quilt where it's 75% done. And then I was like, okay, what? So I looked at my cutting table and I was like, okay, well, what fabric from what projects on the cutting table? And mm -hmm. I just went with that and did the caught up as catching up on the schoolgirl sampler. Awesome. Awesome. But I'm not doing any new quilts until I get my old quilts done, Dawn, just yeah. so you know. Yeah, I've heard I'm that I'm still before. buying fabric, though. Don't get me yeah. wrong. Don't get you wrong. All this lovely new fabric that we're getting in is coming home with me. Oh, and I haven't showed these to Peter yet, but I did take pictures of everybody's working pincushion. So are you, you wanting to put those at the end of this video? Or what? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, it's just going to be a parade of pictures because I didn't... It'll and, be a pincushion parade. Yeah, and you won't know who the owner is because I didn't pick, take yeah. pictures of their faces. Uh, Amunimity, or however you say that. Okay, let's Anonymous. Go. Anonymous. Okay, let's go put them on the wall, okay? An anonymous pincushion parade. So, look at that. Ooh, that is a stunner. Yeah. Okay. Oh my goodness, look. It's kind of the same thing. That's kind of funny. That's neat. Uh-huh. And there's that one. And there's that one. Where's Cappy's? Put Cappy's over here. Oh, we didn't talk about Cappy's, Cappy's too much, but she put her darks in the center too. Put hers in. Ooh, and I love the contrast that she got with that turquoise That's with the pink background. That's really pretty, isn't it? Yeah, it is. So let's put hers up. I wonder how she's going to set hers. I wonder if she's even thought about it. That's really pretty. We're going to have to move hers up so we, we have more room. I might have to take some of mine down. Move them up so we can have more room on the uh, thing, on the wall. That was fun telling you about oh there will be weeks and weeks we'll be talking about this retreat because it was the fun that never ended it was just the dream dream retreat so i wish you could have all been there with me wouldn't that have been fun that would have been great fun so anyway get to sew in some more of your school hot girl blocks try to go to kathleen's uh facebook uh private group because you'll get lots of inspiration there okay and Next Monday, I'll be here and I'll be awake. I promise. Talk to you later. Bye.